Hi there, welcome back to Arvind Tech. Thank you so much for all your love and support to our YouTube channel. In today's session, that is in session two, we will see some important formulas like sum and count, which are mostly used functions in Excel. We'll see the use of these functions in different ways. Let's get started. Uh, meantime, if you have not already subscribed our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get the latest. Audio. So the first function we are going to talk about is sum function. If you wish to find the sum of the number, then we are going to type is equal to sum and then open parenthesis and highlight the column. You will get the sum. Another way is we have to plus the cells, you will get the sum of the numbers. Another dynamic way to calculate is auto sum. You have to press and hold alt and press is equal to from your keyboard. By using this option, you can also find the horizontal total as well for corresponding rows. If you do not wish to use shortcut, then you can press insert function from formula submenu and you need to select sum, then hit OK and then select number one, then number two and so on. Likewise, you can also select whole range in numbers. You will get the sum. You can also select the cells by giving commas. For example, value one, comma, value two. So this is also a different way. If you want direct calculation, then you can also enter the numbers directly and calculate their addition. In the same way, by giving the value, then comma, then value and close the parenthesis, you will get the sum of the numbers. Next function we are going to see is sum if. It is used to add the specified cells based on the single or multiple supplied criteria. Sum if function based on the three parameters, range, criteria and the sum range. On the screen, you can see the data of mobile companies like Apple, Nokia, Samsung, etc. and the sales of the companies. As we already learned to calculate the sum in dynamic way by pressing Alt plus is equal to. Now, if you want specific mobile company total then we will give is equal to sum if then open parenthesis then range for criteria as of now we will select the blank cell and then the sum range now we will use this blank cell to specify any mobile company name for example we will take it as Apple. We will be getting 386. We will cross check. You can find the sum of the Apple is correct. Now in the second example, we will define criteria manually as Nokia. Remember, for any criteria or the text, you have to put the text in double inverted commas. You can see the sum of Nokia is correct. We'll cross check with in above cell. In the next example, we will put it in more dynamic way. After the formula, we will go to the data validation list and select all the mobile company names. Hit OK. 
now from the drop down you can select the mobile company name you will get the respective total for that respective company name the next function which we will be understanding is sum ifs or sum ifs we can give multiple filters or criteria in this function let's start to use this function here you can see the country wise uh, data of the salesperson. Now, if you want to calculate the total Nokia sales for Egypt, then you will press is equal to sum ifs open parenthesis. Here you, you have to select first sum range and then the criteria range one, then criteria as Nokia. Remember to put double quote, then criteria 2, range, and criteria as EG, as we are going to calculate for Egypt. You will get the total Nokia sales for Egypt. In second example, we will see the total Apple mobile sales done by Ron in India. Here we have three criteria that is mobile company name as Apple, country as India, IN, and name as Ron. We will put it in the same way like we did for previous one. Some range criteria one, criteria, then criteria two, then again criteria, and criteria three, and again put the criteria, you will get the sum of Ron for Apple in India. In the third example, we want Sarah's total sales in US. Again here, we have two criteria that is name as Sarah and country as US. With the same sequence and same format, we will get the expected result. Only the difference between two functions, that is sum if and sum if s, is in sum if s we have multiple criteria. If we cross check the total, we can able to see the total is matching with formula. The next function which we'll see is count function. Basically, it is used to count the cells which are having numeric value in a column. The syntax for count is is equal to count and highlight and select the column which you need to count in the second example we will see in the second example we will see for the dates in date column i have took one date in incorrect date format if you can see after applying the formula it shows as seven instead of eight this is because count function does not count incorrect date values in the next that is in third example as you can see there are text and numeric values we will apply count for country column and we can see the output as 3 this is because count function only calculates numeric values in this column it ignores the text cells that's why the output is 3 the next function which we will be having is COUNTIF. COUNTIF function is used to count the cells with single criteria. It can be used to calculate the cells with dates, numbers and text that matches with specific criteria. On the screen you can see the name, country and the revenue data table. In the first example, we want to calculate revenue over 100 using count if and the syntax is count if then select the revenue range and then the criteria as greater than 100 and please don't forget to use double quote you can see the count as 10 if you cross check the highlighted cell in the table the values are matching now in a second example we will count the cells which is equal to gym like above we will use as same and the criteria will be given as gym in double quote in this way we can calculate for 
specific country as well by using count if we can also calculate the duplicate cells we will use as is equal to count if and in range and in criteria we will use the same range means the criteria and the range we will select it as range only after pasting the formula below by control d or paste formula we can identify the cells which are having duplicate values we can also calculate by duplicate in using conditional formatting however to filter out the duplicate without deleting this this is the best option for you the next function which we'll see is count if s it is used to count the number of cells with multiple criteria we learnt in count if there is one criteria however in count if s there are multiple criteria in the table you can see the product with country wise sale for the use of count if s function i have created some examples if we want to calculate how many times sara sold a product d to australia country here we have multiple criteria type equal to count if s criteria range then criteria as sara again criteria 2 range and criteria as d product d again criteria 3 as country australia now you can see the count as highlighted you can also cross check the value which we are getting is correct so likewise in second example we have to calculate how many times sara achieved goal target above 50 here we have to only give the criteria as greater than 50 apart from this all the same practice this two examples now the last function which we will be learning is count a or counter function this function is used to calculate the number of cells that are not empty counter function returns numeric value on a screen we have a column with mixed data in cell if we apply the formula you can see the answer as 11 as counter function does not count the empty cells in second example we want to calculate the cells which containing only text values for that we will first calculate the values by counter so it will give the total occupied cell value numbers and we will subtract the count it counts the numeric values so we will subtract that formula in counter function in this way we can mix two formulas as well the last function of today's agenda which we will see is count blank its use is very simple it is used to calculate the blank cells we have covered all the topics for today's session please let me know if you have any queries or question you can share your thoughts as well in the comments i will be happy to answer them till then arvin lad signing off keep learning keep growing with arvin techs and please do subscribe our channel to get the latest updates take care